For a long time, we've been listening to the reefs here in St. John, and we've been using that sound to kind of assess and show that the sounds of fish and the sounds of the invertebrates on that reef actually is a way to assess and, and tell how healthy the reef is. And now, as part of my thesis work, I am here to conduct an experiment looking at how the sound environment influences coral larvae and their settlement abilities. Coral larvae use a number of different cues to find that suitable habitat. They've been demonstrated to look for different chemicals, and respond to ocean currents um, and changes in light regimes, and also recently there's been evidence that they respond to sound as well. The plan is to basically play back healthy reef sounds and try to encourage those larvae to settle on a site that they might not otherwise choose. We've done a couple early studies on this. One is that we found that if you put cups of larvae out on a healthy sounding reef and you compare that to cups of larvae on a reef that doesn't have a lot of nice healthy fish sounds, you just get a lot less settlement in the unhealthy reef. One of the big fields of habitat restoration, right, is that that habitat has to not only look right, but it has to smell right and sound right to the animals. And so that's really what we're focusing on is recreating a habitat that basically looks, smells, and sounds right to these animals. We have a speaker, which is basically just an indoor pool speaker that you can put underwater. It's connected to a flotation system and buoy that has some electronics and a solar panel that you can basically put a little micro SD chip with some recordings onto it. And you can put that anywhere you want to play back whatever you want to um, the reef. Our experiment is we have picked a couple of sites um, a couple more degraded, slightly less healthy sites, and we have one site where we have a speaker that's playing recordings of a healthy reef, and one site where we're not playing anything. And on both sites, we're um, collecting larvae and then putting them into cups and seeing basically whether the sound treatment encourages them to settle or not. The next steps are, can we try this in different places? Can we combine and get better settlement if we combine those other restoration activities like outplanting corals? Can we maybe optimize what we play back to them? Is, are they listening to certain frequencies or certain the presence of certain fish sounds on the reef? And can we target those specifically? As well as working on this playback system and making it even more kind of portable and scalable. 30% of our reefs declined in the last 30 years, right? So we have a huge problem with our degrading coral reefs. Because they're facing so many stresses, so many threats, rebuilding them and finding ways to encourage healthy settlement is just one really important tool that we can to keep our reefs healthy.